In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a uh, Google Cloud account with the Cloudberry Explorer for Google Storage. Uh, so I have it open here, but before you do that, what you'll need to do is go to cloudberrylab.com, uh, uh, click on Products here, and then you'll see the Explorer tools, and you'll see that you have a Google Cloud. So go ahead and click on that. And then you can see they have a free version and a pro version. I really like their products, so I'd, I'd advocate um, buying it if that's one you use. But the free version works fine, so just go ahead and download that. And then you'll end up with this. So you'll go ahead and open this up. Now, uh, in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to set up a Google Cloud account. So we have that uh, right here. And what we're going to do is we want to link this account to... Uh, the Cloudberry account. Now you can, you know, if we click in here, uh, you don't need to use Cloudberry because you can upload files and folders, create folders and do all of that. Um, I just like having Cloudberry so I don't have to use the uh, browser to do that. So what we need to do is uh, create a new account. So we're going to go to File and you can see you can hook up your uh, Google Drive account as well. So we're going to hook up our Google Storage account. And uh, what I want to do is put a name in here, and I'll just say uh, demo or blog demo. So we'll just call this blog demo here. And I need a project ID, and you're going to get that um, here. So if you go to your API project, you click on that, uh, you're going to see your API project. I'm just going to grab this number and Control C, and let's come back to uh, uh, to Cloudberry here. I'm going to punch this in here. So we're going to put the number in here. We're going to go ahead and test the connection. and I'll need to give it permission. And you can see it's asking for permission here. So I'm going to allow that. And it should connect. And so we're good to go. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. So now I can see that blog demo is here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So now in here I can have, I can line this up with my uh, different folders that I might have. And so I can save things to the folder and then sync them. So I'm going to go ahead and set this source up to blog demo. It's going to ask for permissions. I'm going to go ahead and allow that. And now I can see the bucket that I created. So if I click inside of there, here's my examples folder and the content folder. But um, I can go ahead and add uh, folders in here. Just drag and drop the folders. Or I can um, uh, add them from here. So I'm going to go ahead and find a folder and drag and drop it. All right, so here's a file we're going to drag over here. So it's my rotoscope demo. So I'm just going to go ahead just to create some um, folders here. Let's go ahead and create a folder here just to show you how that works. And we'll call this rotoscope. Uh, that's not the way you spell it, right? Rotoscope. Go ahead and hit OK. And now I've got the folder there. And I can just come over here. I'm going to select all of these and drag those over here. Say yes. Those will get uploaded, and then I have a file now. Uh, in the earlier tutorial, we showed you how to set the permissions, so this should be open for me to share. So I should be able to click on, like this, say, the story.html. I go to web URL, or I can right click. I do web URL, and then this is going to be um, the uh, folder for me. So let's go ahead and see if that opens the link. And um, now we can see that it works. We're going to test it. And look at that. Not only, not only did you get to learn how to insert um, that into Cloudberry, you actually got Rickrolled. So uh, let's go ahead and look at what we have on the Cloudberry uh, into our Rapid eLearning uh, account here. So you can see in the Examples folder, Here's that rotoscope that I uploaded. So you have two ways to upload it. You know, create the account. You can use the upload inside the browser, or you can use Cloudberry uh, to do that. Uh, one other thing about Cloudberry, and again, you can go to uh, Cloudberry and learn more about how to use the tools. Uh, if the links are really long, uh, if you go to web URL here, uh, you can use their built-in uh, link shortener. So you can see this is a really long link. Uh, if you generate that, here you can get a much shorter link uh, that you can use and share. And you can see there's some other things that you can do as well. So uh, two things, learn a little bit more about the way Google Cloud Platform works uh, and see if that works for you. And then the other thing is, you know, see how to get the most out of Cloudberry. Hope that helps.